Okay, this is gonna be weird. I got a new mic, and I'm not sure how I feel about having a mic specifically for recording video game footage. But here we are. Never thought I'd be at this point. What a strange world we live in. What a strange world I live in where this is actually happening. And it's sitting on top of an open Nalgene bottle, so it's a flat surface in front of my face. So there's a pretty good chance that not only will I knock it over, but I'll spill water on myself at the same time and maybe break the mic. But apparently, there's an underground tomb in this direction. Oh, wait, 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 How many? It has one appraisal. Okay. Well done. First off, head. Okay. Sure. Let's uh, let's just check this out. I probably won't publish this if if there's no tomb here. Let's go check it out. That loin cloth. How about it? This is quite an enormous space to not have anything. So I'd be surprised if there was nothing. I, I don't necessarily mean that there's going to be a tomb over here, but uh, I'd be surprised if there was no other content in this space. Actually, maybe not. Maybe it is empty. The lighting in this area is just spectacular. Looks very, um... I don't know, like a... Cambino. <laughs> oh, the lighting looks so cool. I don't even, like, it's not even high fidelity. It's not doesn't look realistic in any way, but it doesn't need to. It just looks awesome. With a little bit of persistence and a little bit of Google, <laughs> I was able to find this... Catacomb? Dungeon? Something. And, uh... Oh. How come everybody who I see running around looks cooler than I do? Well, you know what? Cooler is a... It's totally subjective. That person doesn't look very cool. You know what? No, I look pretty cool. Someone might see my character and be like, Oh, what a cool looking character model. But, I'll be curious to see... One thing, the pacing of this dungeon. Uh, and two, the story. Because... The War Dead Catacombs. So... Because I, I know that this is where they've been having the Radon Tournament for a while, and they also said that this is the site of the Shattering, which was that war that was fought at the beginning when the Elden Ring was, was shattered. I don't remember the exact details of it, but I know a little bit more about the lore. Hey, this is the exact same room that we had seen in a previous dungeon. They definitely take rooms and kind of just copy and paste them to save development time. Not not a knock at all on the game. Um, games do that all the time. But... Uh, yeah, I'll be curious about the pacing of this space. Am I, are Pudge's feet dirty? That's kind of only work. Because the previous boss fight was so difficult, and this is... Oh my god, there's so much going on. What? Are you... What is... What is this? I'm curious about the pacing of this, because the previous boss fight was so intense and difficult. Oh. How this is going to stack up to that, because these generally have been easier. Try... Hiding place. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So there's a fight going on right now between what looks to be a regular soldier and the one of the soldiers that we had seen in that swamp. So is this like a reenactment or the, the spirits of the Radon army? are fighting the spirits from, um... Renella's army? Not Renella, um... Whoever the Scarlet Rot Lady is. That, that wounded, um... That wounded Radon. I don't know her name. I don't remember it. Not Renella, that's... But it seems like it is their soldiers that are fighting? Forever and ever in the afterlife. And are they... Not taking any damage. Oh, this is cool. This is interesting. So it seems like they're not taking any damage from each other. So this is kind of their either form of hell or form of heaven, where they are doomed to fight eternally. That's really interesting. I, you know, this game is very simple in a lot of ways. Oh, I maybe I need magic priest. To, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh no, they are hurting each other. I thought they were like doomed to fight each other forever, not doing damage. I thought that was kind of a, a cool little. Huh. Apparently I need magic priest to damage them, I guess. Um, but, you know, this game in a lot of ways is really simple. The quest implementation is very simple. You go there, you kill a thing, you die, you respawn, you go you kill more things, you die, respawn. Oh, awesome. Um, but, again, they're able to do things creatively. It's like, oh, now you're fighting ghost versions of these things, and they're able to tell 
a fairly effective story through that. Or if, one thing they could have done here, um, that I guess they are kind of doing in a way, oh shit, was like maybe make it so that you can't actually damage these things and then so you do have to stealth everywhere. So that changes up the, um, that would change up the encounter quite a bit, I'm assuming, and require the player to do different kinds of gameplay. Can you two fight each other? Oh shit. Oh shit! Open! No! Switch operations! What am I doing? Oh shit, I'm in trouble here. Radon's soldiers, help me! Help me! Can I even hurt you? Oh fuck. I've been scarlet rotted. Now what is that doing to me? I'm assuming that is just gonna poison me. Not just poison me, but it's gonna poison me over time. Excuse me, coming through. Can I get out of here? But yeah, they, they, they with, with fairly limited affordances, like playing with enemy health states, or the presence of enemies, or um, the fact that you can or can't damage enemies, or the types of damage types that you need to do to enemies to kill them. With those kind of very simple switches, they're able to um, make some pretty diverse encounters in pretty diverse spaces. So, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the, you know, creativity comes from constraints, and I think that the developers of this game use their relatively simple game model quite effectively to um, create an interesting game. I guess I should probably take one of those boluses right now, but it might not be worth it for me. It's probably totally worth it. Hi! No, 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 no. Yeah, ignore me. Oh, Radon people are our friends then. Cool. Yeah, and I don't mean to say this game is simple as an insult in any way. But, um, collapsing stars. That's probably the thing that Radon used on us, eh? I just, I, I, I'm quite impressed by their, um, the creativity that the designers have at, at taking these relatively simple designs, or these relatively simple mechanics that they have available to them, and, oh shit, oopsie daisy, and, uh, making new and interesting and unique encounters out of them in, in spaces, so. Not all the spaces are cool, and I mean, all the spaces are cool, but not all the spaces have these like little unique hooks to them. But enough of them do that when you encounter them, I'm like, oh, that's uh, that's cool, and I appreciate it. I don't know if any of that makes sense, but um, I'm just kind of thinking that when they're designing out these dungeons, they are given okay, you've got this list of you've got creatures that you can use in this dungeon, and you've got some certain levers you can pull, like enemy health or um, damage types or the amount of NPCs that are spawned there friendly factions, or friendly and enemy factions, things like that. Um, so it's kind of cool to see how they've combined those things to make uh, interesting dungeons. So I think Radon, Radon soldiers seem to be our friends. I'm kind of, I, 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 maybe I'm wrong. Although maybe they respect us now that we've spanked Radon. Oh shit, I lost my, my rune, whatever. I believe that I've pillaged most of that space, so maybe we'll just run by now. We'll come back later once these all the people have killed each other. Get ready to break for that corner. Go, 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 go. Hop. Hop, hop, hop. Okay, can you, uh, fuck off. Oh. That was a lot of damage. Is this gonna be my blood stain? No, it's not. Thank God I'm not the only person that's got pinned in this corner. Let's uh, we'll go for a little run this way. Aha! Nice. Hey! Oh, so it's... Ah! My old friends! <gasps> My old upgraded friends! Yo!
Oh, hi there. Ta! <laughs> Now, does it cost me a currency to appraise positively? Read message. Uh, good. Does that cost me anything? Okay. Uh, again, I, you know, I, I'm not sure that I overall am a fan of playing with these kinds of things on, but it's a different experience, so for now I'll keep them on, because it just benefited me. Seems like we'll be doing some loops eventually. Oh, these guys provide guys, girls, others, whatever they want to be called, provide a significant amount of souls to the guy. Let's go right first. And then I might be I got Whoa, hey! Call me, I'm just You must be one of Radon's Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. That's okay. That's okay. This is, um... This, this, this dungeon seems to be designed in a way where it's got multiple different wings, so they don't need to open up shortcuts for you to explore new wings. You just kind of come back to the center and then explore the north wing and the south wing and then the east wing and the west wing. Overall, I think this is um, definitely the most interesting... dungeon that we've explored so far. Interesting mechanics. Um, that was a... Looked like a cool... Um, little Not traversal puzzle, but a, a little traversal space that we have to deal with there. Now I'm curious if I have to... Ah, no, no, no. Keep going. Just ignore. I'm not even here. Just ignore me. Ignore the man with no pants. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't... I'm not here. Okay, see how my dodge skills are. Or are we going into Radon's area? Oh, can I even damage you? How much is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can damage you just fine, okay. Good. Apparently, maybe the magic grease will just make me extra effective. Oh shit, these guys do so much damage. This might be where I need the magic grease. Right? Oh, that was cool. No, oh, stagger! Ooh. Nice dodge, bro. No, 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 dodge, 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 dodge. loud. Still learning the uh, ins and outs of this mic. No, oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> oh shit. Um something something should have more vigor. Something something 
Yeah, I know. Okay, I'll level up my vigor. I promise. Next thing I'll level up will be bigger. Holy shit. Holy shit. Woo! My goodness. Goodness gracious. It's like I've forgotten that I have sword... or dance. Dance blade? Blade dance? It's like I've forgotten that I can dance. These guys are gonna get danced on right now. Oh, I love blade dance. Yeah, come on, flip. Show me your acrobatics. No, 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 no. Now, what what determines if, if an enemy gets staggered on? Because I know... Is, is it purely based on, like, damage or attack rating or something? Um, or is are there other features? And then did that guy... Hi. Replenish my flasks? Hi there. So I know that um, dagger users are uh, less likely to provide or to stagger enemies. I don't know what. Uh, what exactly is like if it's a buildup uh, of damage or if it's like a specific feature on the weapon that provides the um, the stagger. I'm not sure. And also, what's what determines when a, a sign gets put down? Because there was a sign here before, but now there's no longer a sign. All these, all these like intricacies of, of the multiplayer system, I don't quite understand. Like, how do you actually summon things? I think you need to use a uh, sign. Praise the pickle. Is that suggesting to me that I should use a pickled? Is it a pickled bowel foot that increases? Not here, but don't give up. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that's that's kind of cool. That's pretty neat. Pickled bowel foot is. Um, Offer healing, therefore praise the message. Because it's a tough enemy? What is this? Help me, oh help me. Oh, it must be a tough enemy? I can't heal myself, but I can... Electrify my armaments and go take them down. Okay, obviously there's someone to fight up here. What's up, bro? I, I don't know if that was worth all those warnings. This guy, however. Amber's head, okay. Hi. I really like being able to stun, because I can imagine not being able to stun enemies with each individual attack and a weapon that's this slow would be uh, bad for me. I would not do well. Invisible wall? Hi there. You sack of shit. Oh! You sack of shit again. Ah, oh, yay, yay, yay. Okay, let's get, get you in the open here. Yeah, attack me. One, two, and three, eh? Let's, let's bait that attack again. Okay. One. Okay. Are you gonna do it? That's new. One. Ooh, this is tense. Give me one, two, three. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Wait, did I just... I thought I saw, like, a boss health bar show up. You like that, Dodge? Those twinkle toes? Oh!
one. Oh fuck! Okay, just finish him off. Finish him like he's a tasty dinner. Are you gonna give me any of my flash spec? No, but that's okay. Because now I think we have... Uh, we've essentially completed this wing. Right? And therefore... Can essentially just warp back to the... Um, Lyra head. Does that mean false wall? Who? You'd think that there would be a, a false wall... Or a, a sign from the false wall. Okay, I think, I think that's... I think we can assume that we've completed this little loop here. Which is good. Because again, we don't need shortcuts when they kind of just have these little... Extensions and arms. I like I like dungeons that are designed like that. Likely down. Does this give us a shortcut? Oh, I'm out of cerulean tears. Okay, that's fine. Is this a place that I've been before? Do not recognize it. Oh, you guys had those, um, bombs before, right? Okay, this is not a dead end. Oh, yeesh. This is getting scary for me. I'm a long way from home. Okay, can I act fight you without activating any of your buddies? That'd be really nice. No. No. You're not allowed to see me. Stay away. You son of a bitch. Oh, no. What if I can bait you to fight your buddy? Yeah? Because I've never even fought one of these guys before. I don't know. <gasps> What? I'm fucking dead. Oh, 37,000 souls. Out. Now, what would be a real bummer is if those stronger knights um, respawned. Although, I could probably just run past them. I'll give that a shot and see if I can recover those souls quickly. Can I go? Can I go this way? Was that a mistake? Did I just make a huge mistake? Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, man. There goes 30,000. Where am I? So dark. Oh, fuck. Let me out of here. Let me out. 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 So many status effects. Ay, ay, ay. Where am I? I don't even clean what hell. No, cool. Don't know where I am. Don't know where I'm going. Am I at the beginning again? Okay, I'm just gonna go rest. That was a failure. True failure. Mm -hmm. Winged Helm of Clean Rot Knights celebrated for their undefeated campaign in the Shattering. Cool. Clean Rot Knights vowed along to fight alongside Millennia. Oh, Millennia. That's the, uh, the, the Scarlet Rot Lady. Despite their inevitable, despite the inevitable, if gradual, putrefaction of their, putrefaction of their flesh, their acceptance of their fate made these battles the fiercest of all. Okay, cool. What do you give me? Immunity versus, um... No, I want to see... Oh! So I can wear that and that'll help me... Defy the Scarlet Rot? Is that... Is that... Uh... Oh, that gives me super high immunity. That gives me even higher immunity. Why not? We're a bug on your head. Is this one? 
This is the next one, right? No, fuck. It was this one. Oh, shit. Don't roll, roll. I don't care if I die. I mean, don't die. No, jump, 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 jump. Oh. Please don't follow me. I might throw on a rune arc. I'm also going to throw some baking grease on my weapon. Because I'm guessing that means that it's going to help me out with some damage. I don't know how long these greases even uh, apply for. I've never... I've never... I don't think I've ever used one. Hopefully it's a long time, though. All right. Come on, rot lady. What I might do is actually just hop through this window here. Pull that lever. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Let me pull. Perfect. The problem with doing that now is that when I get to the heavy door, I'll have no idea which one it is. But, you know, that's the life of a cheating bastard. Alright, let's see if we can take on this Scarlet Rot Knight after hopefully only aggroing one of these gimbos here. Oh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. All right, my friend. Where are you? You, come, 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 come. Oh! Hi. Cool looking armor. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What was that? Interesting. So there's Scarlet Rot. Scarlet Roddy. But they're also using the power of the Erd Tree, or like using faith based attacks. That's interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, thank God. Oh, shit. Interesting. Okay. That, and I think that was the uh, creature type that I had encountered in the Oni... Precious item, Ed. The Aeonian Swamps. But... Oh, oh, shit, 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 shit. Radon Soldier's Ashes. Okay, cool. Um, but then had not... Uh, and then ran away from it. So I never actually caught them. Go away. Nope, close. After remains of the spirit, the spirits yet dwell. Used to summon the spirits of two Radon soldiers. Both spirits wield fiery weapons to perform powerful skills such as their valor that they will immediately attack after being summoned. General Radon soldiers were all reputed to be masterful warriors, and it was popularly said that the Red Mains who knew no weaknesses. Okay. So is there any connection between um, Radon soldiers and or Radon and Horalu? Are these unrelated uh, characters entirely? I know. I mean, I know they're different characters, but I wonder if there's any. Um, there's. Is there any association between them, or am I just making that association up? I don't need to fight you. You offer me no benefit, I think. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. 
I might just say goodbye to those 13,000 souls, because I don't want to do that run again. As much as I like having this uh, sword dance weapon, it'd be really nice to... Um, uh, one of the problems is I don't know... when I'm getting my... Um, or when I'm going to be getting access to the... the Ash of War, the Lightning Strike, whatever, Ash of War that was in that extra life build. Um, I didn't look up where that Ash of War is located in the game. So, I, right now, I feel like this build is not super efficient because I'm splitting my... Um, I'm splitting... Oh, shit! I'm splitting my... Uh, my points right now between dexterity and faith and various other things. It'd be great to find a build where I'm only splitting between um, faith... You know, faith... What am I splitting between right now? Dexterity, faith, and um, vigor. But it'd be great to find a build where I could take one of those skills out and just focus on. Holy shit. Holy shit, these guys do so much damage. I already pulled you, right? Yeah. Yeah, and so I, I don't know, I, I as much as I, I like this weapon, I like sword dancing, I'd like to get to a build at one point where I can just kind of ignore dexterity or ignore faith or something and just focus on two skills, because it seems like right now I'm spreading myself a little bit thin. Ugh, the butter's not that thick on this bread right now, and I'd like to get a nice thick layer of margarine. What's going on here? Oh, this is where the heavy door opened. Okay, so this is probably the boss fight right here. Right? Yeah, this is where the heavy door is. Okay, cool. Well, might as well, um, come on, Engvall. What are you again? Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, oh. Uh. Okay. Two hits. Yikes. Based on the amount of damage I was taking from those previous, uh, just like the random NPCs, not NPCs, the random enemies, and how much I took from that, um, that creature right there makes me think that maybe I'm a little in over my head. Right here. I'll do that one more time, because I know, I think as Mucus Broth suggested, fire. Because now that I actually know that these things are called putrid tree things, and we all know that fire types are strong against grass types, we'll uh, whip out the fire. Oh, and last time we fought that thing, we didn't actually get to use Engvall, so hopefully we can get Engvall to play Distraction. But I, I don't, killing me in two hits like that, that was... Uh, that's pretty rough. Holy shit. Get him, Angle. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, fuck this, and fuck those runes. I'll put a marker on this, and I'll come back to this later. I'm not doing this right now. What I'm gonna do, go do right now is go check out that, uh, the, uh, crater that was left on the ground. Just to get a little bit of progress, because right now I feel like this has been a bit of a waste of an episode. So hopefully I can at least get a little nibbling of something interesting before I, uh, before I call this one. I'm also curious to see how much they've changed the state of this space, um... This was where we put, where we let, we cleared out the uh, castle for Kenneth Height, but um, I don't remember there being anything specific to the west that would get clobbered by some large crater, but I'm curious to see how much they ch physically changed the space to accommodate the crater, and then how much the spawning has changed for the crater as well. Oh my! Are we in Westfall right now? This looks very World of Warcraft. Let me 
put on my headband so I look cool again. Ah. Looking good, Pudge. Oh. What do we have here? They obviously give us a couple of intentional lookout points where we can kind of go up and look down on this. Or not? Unfortunately, we don't have any souls we can lose, so we can experiment with dropping down into this space. I can't see... Again, the visual language of this game is so unclear that I'm a s I am can't tell if that's going to kill me. I'm guessing it will, but I could probably break up this fall. Going over here. I like it. That was cool. I don't remember at all what was here, but I, I am impressed with the state change they've done here. Because it's not based on the games I've worked on before and the technology I've worked with, which may or may not be the most up-to-date and the most cutting edge or whatever it may be. Um, but doing, like, large environment state changes like this aren't necessarily simple. And maybe that's because the tools that I was using just didn't accommodate that very well. But, um... Because you have to regenerate pathfinding this area. You have to consider, okay, if there were quests here before, what happens if the player didn't complete those quests? Are those quests ever completable? Um, if there was loot that was here before that the player could get, is that loot gone forever now, or do we just relocate it? Or do you just essentially make this... I don't remember what was here before. I really wish I kind of had a before and after. It probably was just like a big empty area. The, the simplest way to solve this problem is to just make a big empty area, and then where there's no content that the player's going to miss, and then put this here. Because if you have content here, you need to figure out a way to either... If you had content here before the... Um, the creator was uh, the creator landed. You have to figure out a way to either relocate that content, or figure out what kind of um, mantra or credo or whatever you're going to have around players like missing content permanently. Because um, if there was content here before and now it's gone, maybe the player's going to lose it forever. Maybe you're okay with that. Maybe you're not. So after looking around the crater for an embarrassing amount of time, uh, I decided to move on from it because I thought it was just a hole. But then, as I was editing this, I succumbed to the uh, temptations of Google, and I looked it up and found out that I did, in fact, miss some content in the crater, so I'll be returning that uh, in the next video. Okay, well, let's just go uh, check out So Free uh, Well, and then see what's going down there now that the stars have been uh, reactivated. I have unstuck the stars. Is that actually meaningful, though? Has there been any sort of state change here? How do you get up there? Oh, this is an interesting little traversal puzzle. I saw that um, scarab on the roof, or on that statue, and it seems like we go here, here... Oh, this is cool. I like this. Oh. I like it. This is awesome. <laughs> I really like simple traversal puzzles. Uh, and this one, you know, I wouldn't even say it's simple, but it's like, it's, it's not super skill requiring. It just requires you to look and forecast. Who are you? Are you bad boys? You are bad boys. Come get some bad boy. And you want some? Oh shit. No! Oh, fuck. You know what? I deserve that. I deserve that. I'll also say that I really appreciate this little encounter right here. It's um, it's very simple, but what we have is essentially a linear path, very, very narrow linear path, that um, if you take it, you run into these guys who are slow and slow moving, but they and they also cast something slow moving, but that thing that, cast, that they cast is very deadly, but you're kind of locked in this linear path and kind of don't have any lateral movement to dodge, so it makes this kind of interesting corridor problem here. 
This guy doesn't seem like caster though, so maybe it was only one of them was a caster, but still. The the having the one caster here. These turn into goo? Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know, I liked it. I thought that was cool. Anything else over here? Oh yeah? <laughs> I don't know who to believe. Again, this is kind of one of those um, design misalignments where I think if there wasn't an item there, why would they even put this pathway? But, like, that's, in some ways, that's from software seems to not largely, but sometimes value art over design. And so, like, there might, it's, it's, it's very, it's not unlikely that there is no um that there's no item there and they just kind of put those arches there for 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 art purposes okay now do i risk missing that or do i just you know what let's do it how did you miss your jump very well measured undershot so i gotta jump all right geronimo Ah! <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> I'll have to look at what that skill is. Sorcery of the Claymen. These are Claymen, who served as priests of the ancient dynasty. Produces several small magical bubbles that drift towards foes before they naturally pop. Charging increases the delay before the bubble hops. The Claymen search for lost oracles within their bubbles. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it seems like there actually is no treasure here. Again, not a huge deal, but uh, generally, if I were to be designing this level, I would avoid trying to make these kind of uh, dead ends without loot. You know, it'd be nice to just put something in the middle there, even just like a, a currency that could be used infinite, like one of those runes, like a rune level two or three or whatever. But I don't design this game. I didn't design this game, so I don't know. <gasps> oh, hello. Cool. Looks like this guy almost didn't make it. All right, I'm just going to teleport to the top space because I don't really know what I'm doing here. And then uh, we'll see if the stars being unstuck actually changed anything for us. I don't notice any difference. Maybe I misunderstood the story here. I thought the point was that we had to kill Radon to unfreeze these stars. But nothing looks new. Or changed. All right, well, I might putter around a bit uh, in this episode or the next one, but um, if not, if I don't find anything, I guess I'm going to end this here. I was up there before. I haven't been up there yet. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to get this up here. Um, yeah, I didn't do a whole lot this episode, but... I mean, well, actually, I, I will... Uh, I'm going to make a survey for the next... Um, video and, and get some thoughts on how I should structure this content moving forward because I'm on part, I don't know, 62 or 63. And I just want to make sure that for those of you who are watching, you're kind of getting the um, what you want out of these because I want to keep making them, but I also want to make sure the people who are watching them enjoy the format and I also want to make sure that the f way I format them isn't too much work for me because one, I don't have um, a ton of time to play this game and I don't have a ton of time to edit it, so. I'll uh, propose some ideas in the next video. Okay, take care of yourselves, and thanks for your time. Bye-bye.